So tell me, why do you give birth to your children in the U.S. in the States? Because uh, when I was young, before coming in Europe, mm -hmm. I used to see all those people that are born in America when they come home, mm -hmm. the, you know, check, mm -hmm. but I regret it, trust me. Really? Yeah, I regret it. Because it's like I have none, you know? Why? Because they're white. Not everything you see brilliant is, brilliant is gold. Not because you see the American children, they look plump, you know, but it's just waste, you know? They can't cook, they can't speak your language, they don't want to do this, they don't want to do that. You can't talk to them. You know, it's like you waste all your time. It's something I regret. Do you understand me? But, but they are American citizens. They are living here with me. They are living in Italy. They are in Genova. One is a doctor. One is kind of architecture. Then my son is back home with his four children, you know? But it's like I don't have. But anyway, important everybody is good. But what I'm telling you is that if you can bring your kids in Africa, give them a home training, good training up to 12 years before bringing them in Europe, I approve that. But to bond them in India, give them education wise and everything, at the end you will be alone. That really? is my opinion. Yeah, I have so, three. So, like, you feel like you are alone now? No, like, it I feel like I am alone. I'm very lucky that I'm married. But, you know, I'm not having that effect of mothering this thing with my mm -hmm. children. It's like I'm having friends around. Mm -hmm. When they like, they care, call, mm -hmm. when they don't like, something like that, mm -hmm. you understand me? Yeah. So you see, like uh, having kids abroad is kind of like waste of. You know, it's a scam. Really? Yeah. They better born their kids in Africa, then they can bring him here if you want. If you born him here, take him home. If you born here after mm -hmm. immediately three years, take him home mm -hmm. to spend up to ten years. When he's three years, take him home after up to ten years, then you bring him back so that he will get addicted to our culture and our tradition, and see other children know what is respect. Because children of this day, they don't know what is respect. They don't know the difference between mother, father, and friends. They can talk to the mother and father anyhow. They don't give a f Why? Because the education, the, West, the Western world here has turned everything upside down. So if you can, you want to give your children a European document, that's cool. But arrange them. You born him here or her here, take him home. After three years here, take him home. When he's 10 years, bring him back. Then he has conscience. You know, he not the different. So you see, see the poor ones, then when he come here, you know the advantage of what he has, he will get regards. You know, you will not lost the value of things. So does it mean that uh, Africa have that uh, more standard education or have that good No, upbringing? because, you know, Africa, we grow up alone with other children because we live in neighboring homes. No matter anything, we mix, children mix up, they grow up together. In Europe, they, they close in apartment. Mm. You know, from apartment to school, school, all these things. Um, most of them is a kind of way of uh, fog or it kind of just for kind of... Uh, like isolating get, the child. You know, brave, you know, mm -hmm. it makes them bring out this attitude. Mm. Because they are not free, just like animals. Animal, mm -hmm. dog, when you buy dog, dog need to run. When you don't give him a chance to run every day, you become aggressive. Mm -hmm. So children are like that. When they don't have the opportunity, just the way we live in Africa, we went to swim, mm -hmm. we went to run, we we'll fight, we we'll do this, at the end of the day, you are tired, you sleep. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Here, there's not that opportunity. So they have their system here, from apartment to school, from school, maybe second school, from, second, from the second school, I mean to say. Uh, uh, the university? No, the no, no. So it makes them grow up somehow. What do you look for in a guy, in a man? Just respect. I make my money. I'm an independent woman. Okay. Respect and consideration. Okay. Regard. Okay. I need your attention. Okay. That's all. Whatever you're doing, bring that time for me. Okay. Consider me, respect me, don't lie. I need to have trust. I don't need your money. I make my money. You cannot give me what I want. No man will give me what I want. I swear to God. So I have my dream. I know what I want. I know how to aim it. I'm a hardworking girl. I work. Every morning, six o'clock, I wake up, go to work, I close this in the evening. So, what I want a man that I will trust. There's many women they don't know that. You know, it doesn't end in all these material things, you know, this, you know, that all those, I'm old, I'm 54 years. I'm talking to you out of experience. Material things can go, but when there's a real love, love is different thing. Trust is very, it's fundamental. Trust, when you, there is dialogue, there is conversation, there is trust. Marriage is boom. And How do you see marriage? Like, is marriage a scam to you? Uh, marriage. Yeah. Marriage, but as I told you, marriage is not a scam. Okay. Because uh, uh, it's written in the Bible, you know. You know, how can a marriage be scam? You have to be complete. You cannot be complete when you don't have the second part. It's impossible. As I said before, you need understanding and uh, and trust to build up marriage. Uh, not today, marriage, iPhone. This is my hair. This is my hair. I don't put anybody here in my life. I don't wear anything attachment. I have everything is natural. So because I want to be beautiful, I will take people here and put on my hair. Then it will be disturbing your mind in one ball hair. What they call it boss boss 